Hey, it's me, GV. Hi, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fall in New Vegas. Boy, did you watch the two and a half hour video yesterday? What's that? You didn't? Okay, get out, get out of this video right now. You better get out of this video right now. Are you seriously watching this without watching that two and a half hour amazing video where I, I hunted down um, hollow tapes for forever? It was so much fun. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yo, know, shout out to all the people that actually did watch that, uh, live stream. To be honest, I thought there was gonna be more that we were gonna have to do in that. So sorry if that came off as a little boring, but, you know, it needed to be done. Now, what I did after that live stream, if you did watch the whole thing, was I did grab all of the vending machine codes. So, as far as I know, we have pretty much every single thing in, uh, the Dead Money DLC. Uh, in my inventory, which is good. Uh, we have all of the vending machine codes, all the unique weapons, the unique armor, everything. Uh, and I feel proud about that. So we're gonna go ahead and leave. Uh, we have this new, or we're gonna have this, um, you know, whole outro here, which hopefully I can skip because we don't need to listen to it anymore. Uh, goodbye, Mojave, right? I mean, yeah, we can always reload a save, but I'm pretty sure we have everything. So it's been real. Adios. See you later. This path leads from the Sierra Madre back to the Mojave Wasteland. You're certain you'll never be able to go back here. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. You've heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all know that. Man, guess who has two thumbs and had to listen to all of that again? This guy. Okay, so we are back in the Mojave Wasteland, ladies and gentlemen. First thing we're going to do is take a nice one-hour sleep. Oh boy, I feel so relaxed now. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Let's run through this quickly. We have everything in our inventory from dead money. We're gonna have to offload everything in our inventory from dead money. Also, what's this? Dropbox? Complimentary. Oh, right. Okay, so you actually get, um, this stuff. I think it's like every week. I forget, uh, how often it, uh, gives you these things. But you can come back to this Dropbox and basically... Uh, get a complimentary voucher, which you can redeem for, I think, about a thousand Sierra Madre chips. Uh, and then you can get some Sierra Madre chips just flat out, too. Um, let's take a look at... Okay, let's not. That terminal's not interactable. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. We have this. Pretty sure we already read this right, or did we? Interesting. Science Entry 112. I think we read this. It's talking about the cloud residue. You could pause and read this if you'd like, but I'm pretty sure we read this out. Download hollow message. We didn't do that, though. That might be only available after you uh, do dead money. Automated message from Sierra Madre. Dear Mr. Elijah, congratulations on your winning luck at the Sierra Madre Casino. We have set up your payment of, a, of Sierra Madre chips to be automatically delivered at the Dropbox you specified every three days. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed your stay. Sincerely, the Sierra Madre Management. That should be new, actually. And that's, of course, talking about this. So we can come back every three days to get uh, some more chips, which basically just kind of breaks this playthrough wide open, mainly because... Um, we'll just be able to, to, well, okay, so this was the reason that I got all of the vending machine codes, because now what we can do is we can go over to, um, wait, what is this? Father Elijah's rubs. Oh, interesting. Okay, we can go over to this here, the vending machine, and look at this. Now we can use all of the recipes that we have. See, I have, ev I should have every single one. Um, the stuff like st uh, Steady, Stimpak, you know, you have to find those in the Sierra Madre. So I should have every single one. Also, notice how many chips I have to the right there. 12,335. It's because we got, um, kicked out of the Sierra Madre by winning 10,000 caps. Also, you can see we have some mods here. Interesting. Um... So it's not going to weigh anything, so I guess we might as well just make all of these mods. Well, not for the automatic rifle, not for the bear trap fist, but for the hollow rifle, yes. So hollow rifle advanced calibration, let's make not 98 of those, actually. How about just one? Okay, so hollow rifle advanced calibration added. Then we're going to go down and find the other ones. So we're looking for the mods. Um... Okay, so we need to do the focus optics and the reinforced components. So, focus optics. Why would it put it at... <laughs> okay, so this is costing 175 if you can see over there. So, we're going to make one of those. And we're also getting... Um, oh, there, yeah, we're getting some challenge progress, too, in the top left. And then, finally, we're going to do the hollow rifle reinforced components. Boom, and we'll do one of those. And this just costs 100 And bam. 
Okay, so now we can basically use all of our Sierra Madre chips to make any of this stuff. Now, the thing that's really interesting is see where it says free chips. So, we can make a uh, 1,000 chips with one complimentary voucher. So, we're going to accept and we're going to do two of those. And we get instantly 2,000 more chips. It's so OP. And then you constantly just get those. I never knew how this worked at all until recently because I guess I, guess I just never bothered um with any of this stuff so that is the big reward doing dead money just kind of really is op uh especially at the start and it'll help this let's play out because we'll be able to have basically infinite money now and we'll be able, uh, we'll be able to you know use our money for all sorts of things that we may need now the other thing is everybody's saying that i can use the reloading bench to make energy weapons ammo just with the uh, just with the stuff that we've spent, I don't get what they mean. Please explain this in the, in the comments below, because if you look here, like, oh, you know what, in fact, wait, where's all of our stuff? Wait a second, where the hell is all of our stuff? Must be at the start, is there like some sort of footlocker at the start near the door? Must be that. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! Oh, I didn't want that to happen, that's not good. <laughs> it just added everything automatically. Great, we're going to hear this for like 20 years now. Um, why would it do that? Yeah, open equipment storage. So it stores everything there, and then when you get here, it puts everything into you automatically. That's not good at all, um, especially because now we're not going to be able to fast travel. Oh, boy, why would it do it like that? That's really silly. Well, if that's the case, we're going to need to store some like unique things here. So let's store the bear trap fist. Uh, we'll store the caravan shotgun, the three, uh, cosmic knives, uh, where's our carry weight at? 232, oh, why would you do it like this? Goss rifle, yeah, we'll just store all of the big stuff, I suppose. Let's go for apparel here, um, do I want to use the assassin suit? Sneak plus 10? Nah, we'll store that, how much does it weigh, 20? Oh, yeah, we'll store that for sure. Um, oh boy, we have, like, combat armor. Jeez, oh, Louise. I, I don't know why they would do it like that. That's so odd. Okay, anyways, that gives us our carry weight back. Now we have pretty much everything in our inventory. Keep in mind, we're benefiting from the, um... We're benefiting from the uh, perk that reduces all the stuff that weighs one... Or whatever it was, weighs two down to one or half or whatever it is. Anyway, so look, if we go over here, right? And if we try to make some ammo... I don't, people keep telling me I can make energy weapons ammo just with the spent casings from the energy cells and everything like that. I don't know what you all mean though, because look at this. It's not giving me the option to do it. Um, I guess maybe we need to find the recipe. Is that what it is? I'm assuming that's what we actually need to do, right? We need to find the recipe um, in order to be able to do it. I, I really don't know. I, I've never really bothered with the reloading bench, so I really have no clue how that's supposed to work. Also, I wonder if we wait an hour if we can get rid of those notifications in the top left that are going to go for like 20 years. Okay, so let's open the equipment storage and just see. I would really like to take all of the unique things back with me and then keep uh, some of the stuff here because I'm going to have to do some inventory management here. Um, Gosh, what do we even do? We need to drop off some stuff that... Yeah, we have some garbage that we just do not need. Uh, we're going to store... How much is this way? Okay, good. We're going to store the Sierra Madre armor and the helmet and we're gonna take back the assassin suit because i want to take everything that is unique and so none of that stuff is unique and there we go okay so now we can put on the assassin suit okay i guess we'll just roll with this for now i don't really want to be an assassin dude but we'll roll with it for now okay then we'll head back into the mojave and the first thing that we're gonna do uh, this better be a fast travel point. It is, right? Let's memorize where this actually is. Abandoned Brotherhood of Steel Bunker all the way to the east. Okay, first thing that we're going to do is go to the Presidential Suite. Um, so the Strip North Gate, right? I always get confused with the different gates. Should be the Strip North Gate. There we are. Welcome to the Strip. Thank you so much. We are going to drop off all of this unique crap that we have. And we have a ton of it. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to put you through watching all of this. I know we need to get stuff done here. This is 100% Fallout New Vegas series after all, and if we don't actually get things done, well, we'll be here for an eternity <laughs> uh, and nothing will ever end. But hey, maybe for some that wouldn't be so bad, right? Based on the amount of positive comments I've been receiving for this series. And man, I, I know I say it every time, but seriously, thank you. Thank you for saying those things. It means more to me than you ever know, seriously. Thank you for being so receptive to the series. Where to, partner? I need to go to the presidential suite. Now, it's actually really good that we're coming here because there's something interesting that we can do. 
first of all, if we go to miscellaneous, we have Elijah's hollow message. This hollow message is locked. A label on the front reads for Veronica. A strange sensor mounted on the back seems to be tied to the locking mechanism. So, if we find Veronica... Okay, Boone just stand there super duper. Actually, Boone, you know, that kind of... You know, ah, we'll find another thumbnail. Um, if we find Veronica, we can give her that hollow message for a special something, which is quite interesting. A lot of people probably don't know about this. Uh, where the heck is Veronica? Cat? Wait. Who the hell is it? Oh, I thought that was Cass because of the hat. Okay. <laughs> um, where the hell? She must be in one of these. She, she has to be here, right? We didn't send her to the other place. There you are. What's up? Okay. Ooh, here we go. I found Elijah. You did? Where? Oh my god. I mean, uh, I, I thought... I don't even know what I thought might have happened to him. But you don't have a this is good news expression on your face. I had to kill him before he hurt others. You killed him? But it doesn't matter. He died when we all retreated to Hidden Valley. I didn't expect to see him again. No one did. Did he say anything when you met him? Anything? Anything at all? Okay, now here is the thing. You can get two different Veronica perks. One for, like, keeping the hollow message for yourself and one for giving to her. It doesn't really matter to me because both of them... One's, like, a critical hit chance. One's, like, a da uh, uh, attacking speed thing. It doesn't really matter to me. Veronica's already OP, so there's something I wanted to pass along. Where did you get this? Guess I was right about the bad news, huh? Same look Elder McNamara always gave me when I was up for promotion. It's a message. The news is up to you. All right. I'll watch it. That was... That was hard to watch. And quick. Did it make any sense? The parts I understood? Didn't matter. Past all the garbage, all it amounted to was goodbye. Sorry. I feel a little out of it. Head spinning a bit. Oh. Oh! I think he left me a gift. Maybe I can use it better than he did. Veronica has received the Elijah's Last Words perk. She has learned a secret melee weapon technique that increases her attack speed by 150% and gives her a 25% chance to knock down enemies. Pretty freaking OP. Veronica, I mean, gosh, she has to be the most OP in the whole game, right? I don't really know. Um, goodbye. See you around. So there you go. Make sure to do that if you're doing dead money. Uh, I know that's something that a lot of people are going to miss. And now I go through the process of sorting out my inventory so we can have a clean inventory space. Right, so I will see you all once that is accomplished. Okay, that was actually easier than I thought. So now what we're going to do is go into our items and get everything ready here. So we're gonna put the C4 plastic explosive up there. Frag grenades down. No, that's not gonna work. Hollow rifle over there is my main weapon. Uh, we're gonna sell this, but we're gonna put the pulse weapon there as my secondary weapon, and then silence 22 pistol, I guess, down there. As far as apparel, we got... Yeah, I need to go back and get the... Wait, did, didn't we... Huh, yeah, okay, I know what we need to do. We, we have to drop a lot of garbage. We're gonna go to aid, though, real quick, and do Dean's electronics. Uh, and I don't think there's any other books that we need to do. So, we got one more quick step. I roll her sweet. I roll her sweet. Somebody said, shout out to the person that said they like that. <laughs> they like that, uh, Victor impression. I, I don't remember who said that, so I'm sorry, but, uh, I'm glad that you like it. I roll her sweet. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, now we're gonna go back over to the bunker real quick. I wanted to get some stuff done in today's episode, but... I don't know. To be quite honest, I think it's kind of interesting to see the upkeep after a big DLC, see what we got to do. Uh, I'm not going to do that every time like I did with Skyrim. I did that way too much in that playthrough, I, you know, just managing my inventory and stuff. Also, see this? My controller is, like, drifting now, which is great. So, that's a thing that's happening. Um, okay, so we're going to go back over here. No, not over here. We're going to go back over near the um, the uh, little storage container thingy-majig. And we're going to interact with that really quick. And grab all of this stuff. Please don't overweigh me. Okay, good. So now this is completely done. Sweet. Now we're going to go back to the presidential suite. Which is, of course, here. And we're going to make sure that we drop off everything. I wanted to kind of keep one of everything from the Sierra Madre. But unfortunately, with the gold bars, just didn't have enough carry weight. Um, really wanted to be able to keep one of every weapon and everything like that. But... 
the way I think of it is like, as long as we had it in our inventory at one point, we've sort of had it, you know? And they weren't unique either. They really uh, did us a disservice by not allowing us to keep, or not giving us like a unique variant of each of those things. But I digress. Either way, see, yeah, it's, it's loving to drift lately. Where to, partner? I need to go to the presidential suite again. Don't say it. Okay. So now, we're going to go back over here to weapons. We're going to look at our weapons and see. I'm going to uh, hotkey this. And then we're going to store these cosmic knives because we can... The reason I have three is because I wanted to make the... Um, I wanted to make the uh, other variants. There's like two other variants of the cosmic knives. We'll do that later, though. Uh, let's see. Caravan shotgun we need to sell. Detonator frag grenade. Goss rifle we need to sell, too. Uh, pulse gun silenced. Okay. As far as apparel goes, though, I'm going to store the assassin suit because I don't think of Avery as an assassin. So we're going to store that. Uh, we need to sell some of this stuff, but we're going to wear... Let's see. The DT on this is 18. This is 5. This is 20. This is 5. So the combat armor is actually better, as far as I can tell. But as far as the... And also, this is medium, this is light. What is this? Light, light. Oh, these are both light. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wear these then, and we're gonna store. Now we're gonna sell that. Okay, and that's it. That should be it. So last thing to do, go into our items, go into our weapons, bear trap this. We're gonna hotkey down there, where our melee weapon is usually. Frag grenades we're gonna put up there. And we've got one last step here. High roller sweet. High roller sweet. Uh, we got one last step here for inventory management. Let me know, let me know if you absolutely hate this or if you enjoy it. Um, I'm curious because like with Skyrim... Okay, we're going to go to the gun runners. Why can't I find it these days? There it is. With Skyrim, I did a lot of inventory management. It was kind of like 50-50. Some people liked how much I did, but a lot of people didn't. And I totally understand. With this series, I'm not doing nearly as much. Welcome, sir or madam. Okay, so show me what you have for sale, and here we go. We're going to go to our items and sell everything now. So, caravan shotgun, goodbye. How much? Okay, he has 8,000 caps, which is really good. We're going to sell one of those C4 plastic explosives. Um, we're going to sell the Gauss rifle. We're going to sell the laser pistol, and that's good. As far as apparel goes, we're going to sell the combat armor reinforced Mark II. Uh, we're going to sell the helmet. We're going to sell the pre-war hat. We're going to keep everything else. As far as aid goes, I don't think there's really anything here other than... People want me to use Cat Eye just like they wanted me to use Darth Vesh's, uh whatever the thing is in Oblivion. Um, but I'm just not sure. Buff out, though. Goodbye. Fixer, we're going to keep. Let's see. Medex, goodbye. Mentex, uh, Mentats, goodbye. Purified Water, I need to stop keeping those because they weigh too much. Uh, Rad X. Don't weigh anything. Okay, rebound. Adios. Scotch. Let's see. Steady. Uh, ooh, we have four stealth boys. Very nice. Okay, let's see here. Weapon repair kits. We do not need that many. I'm going to keep, like, just three on hand. Uh, whiskey, we're going to keep three on hand. Wine, we're going to sell. And then for miscellaneous, I'm not even going to run through that. And boom. We just made about a thousand caps. We run Barter Town. Sell items through Barter. Very nice. Goodbye. Okay. Last little step is we're just going to equip that and that, and then boom, there we are. So now we've got this little uh, laser thing, whatever it's called, and then we've also got our hollow rifle. So I don't know how to actually... We're actually going to um, go to our next objective, by the way. Hey, yo, go back. Okay, there we go. Uh, we need to go to Prim. Yeah, we're actually going to do something in this episode. Can you believe it? Uh, so where is Prim at? God, this is getting so confusing. This is getting so incredibly confusing with all of the different map markers. Um, anyways. So, let's see. What, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to actually apply the mod. Um, I'd love to apply the mod onto my hollow rifle. We have three different mods here. Uh, let's take a look at the um, effects, right? Hollow, hollow rifle advanced calibration. Decreases spread. Uh, focus optics. Increases damage. Probably the one for me. I like damage. And then reinforced components. Improves weapons condition plus 50%. What does that mean? It just gives us it gives it like an extra 50% on top of things. So if we press A on it, nothing happens. So yeah, we have to like mod it at a workbench or something. I have just never bothered with that at all. If anybody's seen my Fallout 4 series, you know, I don't know the first thing about modification, uh, modding weapons or anything like that. I just have a tendency to avoid mods, I suppose. So the reason we're in Prim is, of course, to examine the damaged robot. This is an advanced model robot with a reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have seen a good bit of action. There is a very little, very little in the way of serious damage. We are going to examine the electronics. 
A few of the primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, the secondary systems should compensate and make some of the repairs easier. Science 55 or higher required. Run the bypass. With the redundant systems compensating for the damaged primary circuitry, many of the gy... gy... gyscope? Don't you mean gyroscopes? Begins spinning. The repair doesn't look like it'll be too complicated now. Repair 35 or higher required. Re uh, try to fix it. Achievement unlocked the whole gang's here. Wow, have we already got all of them? And EDE, why are you all the way up there? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is EDE. One of the fan favorite companions. Uh, he's a little iBot here. Companion protocol begin. Oh, I guess we're coding now. EDE has given you the enhanced sensors perk. Okay. I'd like to make some ammo. Can you help me? Now, can we do it here? Yeah, see, still nothing. So I really don't know, do we have to find, if somebody could explain this to me, I would love you forever. Could, do we have to find a recipe to make energy weapons ammo? I really don't understand. We have tons and tons and tons. But see, it's not even giving me the option here, is it? Yeah, nothing. Okay. So let's talk to EDE, shall we? Makes beeping sounds. Um, okay, let's see. Let me access your multi-tools. I want to make something. Now, is this the mod? Oh, here we go. Wait, is this it? Energy cell max charge to energy. Uh, can we just make normal energy cell ammo? Yeah, how about that? Just normal, normal energy cells. What do you think? Oh, look at that. This is how you do it. Okay, we figured it out. So you can just do it this way. Drain small energy cell. So we can do it this way. You just, I guess we, I needed to do uh, another type of workbench or something. Okay, neat. Okay, we got follow protocol, wait, tactics, interface, open. Let's try that. Combat interface, open, follow distance protocol, open. Uh, usually everything's fine with this. So let's go back to the tactics interface. And then we can open it, uh, open his storage and we can terminate him. Fall. I thought we would have some ways for him to interact with us. I guess not. Okay, so this is EDE. He's just an iBot that follows you around. And we got the achievement for getting all of the companions, which is interesting. I thought we were missing some, but I guess not. So, like the other companions, EDE has a uh, follower or companion quest. Uh, but to do that, it's kind of like Raul's in that you need to find three specific little uh, things to do. Um, you know, th that will activate EDE's thing. So, we will try to do that. And I'm just wondering, shoot, should we just go for it now? I don't even remember... I don't even remember really how to access it. I was going to do something else this episode, but now that we have EDE, now that we've been doing so many different companion things, you know what, let me do a little, re let, let me do a little bit of research and see what we need to do for EDE here, because I wasn't planning on doing his quest today. So see you all in just one second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so yeah, we can actually get these triggers going. I kind of just want to do those and get them out of the way so that we don't run into problems further down the line. Also, I want to burn my little tushy. Okay, there we go. Tushy equals burnt. What a funny little meme that is. Alrighty, so we're gonna go talk to uh, some NCR troopers at Helios 1. Apparently, they will tell us some stuff. So where the heck is Helios 1? Everything's like right around this whole area. Black Mountain. Man, I'm not remembering where... Yeah, that's the issue. That is the issue with getting this perk where everything's on your map. It makes, like, remembering where certain things are extremely confusing. There it is. Okay, so hopefully uh, some NCR troopers will give us... Okay, so how this works, by the way, if you didn't know. Also, let's wait until it's daytime as I say this. How, how this works, if you didn't know, is EDE has two um, conversation triggers that certain... NPCs will trigger by saying a certain something, a certain phrase, usually regarding the Enclave. Uh, so there's two of those. And when you get the first one, that NPC can no longer trigger the second one. Uh, there's multiple ones that can trigger everything, though. And then you also have to wait five days. So that means we need to trigger the first one here. So let's just, I guess, talk to these people. Hello? What is it? Um, we're going to just run through all this stuff. I don't know if Lieutenant Haggerty is supposed to be the one that triggers this. So why was the Brotherhood here? Why are you here? Shouldn't there be, be more people here? And goodbye. Now, what do you think, EDE? 
Nothing? You would think it would be her since she's the only one with actual dialogue. Now, what about you, gentlemen? Who knows which side the Legion's gonna hit us from next? You know, if you were serving... I was blinding you... Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe Reinforcement Project for the combat model iBots. Okay, so that actually worked. So yeah, that's a very easy trigger to get. I guess it's the actual NPCs that don't have much to say, which is surprising to me. Okay, log play uh, play back continue. Uh, yeah, we're gonna continue, obviously. I bought Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. Okay. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Wow. Feels like what I've are been you staring doing at the sun. sun. Okay, everybody, stop like talking to me. <laughs> you're confusing me. Okay, there we go. We got EDE's uh, companion quest, which is EDE, my love. EDE appears to have some Enclave log data stored that is triggered by some keywords. Now, if you're traveling around with EDE, you'll probably end up just getting it normally, but we're obviously going to go for the stuff that we know. And since this is about EDE, let's go ahead and grab a nice little, little, little thumbnail of him. Oh, he's so pretty. Look at him. Oh, he's so shiny. Not really, though. He's actually pretty gosh darn grimy. Uh, what does he have on that? What does that say? Like a student driver thing? Oh, it says, like, honor student. Somebody plastered that on. Oh, and there's EDE. I don't even know if I knew that he had a license plate that said EDE on the side, which makes so much more sense. Okay, let's get our display back. No, 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 no. We don't want to load. Okay, let's jack that up. Okay, so we're going to go straight away to the other trigger. But remember, we have to wait five whole days before we can actually trigger that other one. Because I guess they don't want you, you know, doing it back to back. So I will see you all once we wait that period out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wait for a sixth, uh, sixth day just to be safe here. Um, and then we're going to travel over to another conversation trigger. Now, like I said, there's a lot of different NPCs that will trigger this for you. But we're going to do the one, uh, the, the two ones that are pretty easy to do. So I would highly suggest Helios 1, obviously, because everybody goes here and then you just talk to them. But I suppose your NCR people can be killed. But we're going to do that one first. And then we're going to go to... Anybody have any guesses? anybody at all <clears throat> it's gonna be jacobstown there's an npc here that uh, oh no oh no it actually crashed i don't even remember the last time i saved well hopefully it auto saved during all that well see you all in again another second she's come on new vegas Okay, ladies and gents, now, if this works, I'm here with Dr. Henry, and he mentioned something about an Enclave thing. Um, if this works, EDE should do the next one, but it might not because I don't know when the autosave was loaded. I don't know how many, like, days I waited, but let's see. Yes, yes. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. And there we are. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. O okay. And? I thought that was it. Are we supposed to get more conversation trick? I thought we only had to do two. Am I wrong? Or do we just talk to Edie? Maybe we talk to Edie about his experience now. Let's try that. Over here, buddy. Hello. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we don't have any other options. Hmm. We'll play this again. Continue. Yeah, I thought that was it. Maybe we have to wait a certain amount of time. Let's just try waiting a day. If that doesn't work, I guess we'll end here and we'll try to uh, pick this back up in the next episode where we're going to do something that's going to be really, 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 really hard. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely take EDE with us. Or maybe we should, well, we should definitely try to get his perk. I don't remember what his perk is, but it will definitely help us in what's to come because what's to come is going to be extremely challenging. Okay... Yeah, I thought there were only two triggers, so we'll figure that out in the next episode. We'll finish off EDE's questline. 
and then we'll also attempt something that's going to be, as I said, very challenging. Uh, and so that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say it enough. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the kind words. It just makes me feel so happy that so many people are enjoying this. Um, and I'm having a blast doing it too, obviously, which is, I think, is what makes for the best series. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, and thank you to everybody supporting me, and I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. If you want to watch more of my content, I also stream on Twitch. The current schedule and link is below. And if you want to support me in what I do, Patreon is the best way. You get some perks. The link is also in the description below. Thank you so much for watching what I do, and I will see you next time.